In a game against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the Dallas Cowboys fall 29-31 to the Tom Brady-led um, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Um, Dallas Prescott passed for 42 completions, 58 attempts, 400 yards, um, three touchdowns and interceptions. Zeke Elliott, 11 for 33 yards. T um, Pollard with 13, um, three yards and 14 yards. Just was not a well-balanced um, game for the Dallas Cowboys. Amari Cooper had 13 receptions, 139 yards. C.D. Lamb, seven receptions for 100 yards. <coughs> Dallas Schultz, excuse me, uh, six for 45. Michael Gallup, four. Uh, Pollock with four. Um, just a just wasn't a very balanced um, effort for the uh, Dallas Cowboy uh, uh, offense. And if you're going to beat a Tom Brady, you can't be passing the ball that much. And I thought, for the most part, um, they, they got down. But you got to be more balanced than that. This this is, um, I, I understand, you know, Dallas, um, Dak Prescott is your leader. I understand that the passing game is your strength. But you cannot continue to lose games this way and have, you know, you know, they know 60 passing attempts and expect to win games um Dak I know he had issues with his shoulder um don't know exactly if he's going to be able to keep continue at this pace but Dallas has to find some balance and the defense um Dan Quinn's is just a classic Dan Quinn defense man um it plays enough for a couple of um for the first three quarters and the next thing you know these guys give up um the game winning field goal this is something as an Atlanta Falcon fan um, I know this, and look, I'm just not surprised. I'm not surprised whatsoever. I'm not surprised whatsoever. This is exactly what Dan Quinn does. Absolutely no pressure on the quarterback for the most part all game long. And, you know, again, if you're going to pass the ball this much, all right, these guys had zero sacks, not one freaking sack. Dallas had absolutely no sacks. Again, this is exactly what happened to the Atlanta Falcons, all right? And and I'm not saying that this is going to continue, but Dan Quinn has to continue. He has to make adjustments, all right? Um, the Buccaneers, Tom Brady, 32 for 50, 379, four touchdowns and two interceptions. Not a well-balanced team. Fournette had 32 yards. Uh, Ronald Jones, uh, 14 yards. Um, Antonio Brown, five catches, 121 yards. Um, Chris Godwin, nine catches, 105 yards. Gronkowski, eight for 92 touchdowns. So these guys had a pretty good offensive. Um, they had a pretty good turn up offensively. But when it all come down to it, um, just cannot pass that many times in a game. You got to have balance. And I thought for the most part, Dallas did not have any balance. Um, they play soft in the fourth quarter. And then anytime you have a lead like that with a Tom Brady, he's going to bite you. All right. You have to blitz him. You have to find a way to put pressure on the quarterback. Dallas did not do that. They did not do that. So at the end of the day, I know this is week one. There's no need to panic. Um, they can make the necessary adjustments. But that's what Dan Quinn, again, as a Falcon fan, Dan Quinn, his Achilles heel has always been the lack of adjustment. But this is a new year. This is a new team. Um, Dallas Cowboys, um, he had a heck of a game. He came down to one position. He did not get it done. But again, this is not the end of the not the end of the road. All right. So let me know what you guys think about tonight's game. Um, the Dallas Cowboys lose to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers 29-31. Um let me know what you got to leave. Think about that. Leave your comments below. Your boy, man, Mike is out, man. Peace.